I'm not one of those people that won't believe in a popular stand and just want to put people down when they are down. I'm hoping that when we come up with solutions, they will understand that they don't have the answers. What you see today is exactly what it is. It says an economy based on theories that do not reflect what we are here. They are looking at the macro economy and they are forgetting the micro and the sub-micro economy. And I'm saying that when you say the sub-micro economy, which is the everyday today person importing and everyday to person buying, and you combine that importation and give it to a few people who are bringing it in and these are foreigners they will take their money and their profits out especially in a panicky situation it's a complete disconnect between the management of the economy today and what is on the ground they are clueless clueless of what is happening when they were screaming when the Ghanaian was saying that the retail sector was going down was being taken by the foreigners and that the whole sale was taken we did not listen to them the China malls now are opposite each other they are competing and everybody that used to import now has to go to the China Mall to buy from there. They are able to bring hundreds of thousands of containers, hundreds of thousands of containers anytime they want. And what does that mean? Do you know what that means? It means that at any point in time, they must change the dollars. They must change the city to dollars. Clockwork. The first thing government you should do is that you must put a halt on importation of any non-essential items for yourself and for your children. For yourself and for your children. Hand over. Hand over. You've lost it.